Welcome to Synagogues of Ohio, Part 13. In this episode, we take a look at University Heights, which is a suburb of Cleveland and has about 13,000 residents. And we're looking at the Heights Jewish Center Synagogue, an Orthodox show. Rafal Davidovich is the rabbi. This congregation was formed officially in 1923. It was originally called the Heights Jewish Orthodox Congregation. The switch to its current name occurred in 1928. Because of changing population trends in the village, some of the older synagogues had emerged with the most successful one. Beth Israel Hevrat Kaddish, Beth HaMedrash HaGadol, Ohave Amuna, and Anshe Grodno merged into the Heights Jewish Center. In 1979, the congregation moved to another part of the village and added expanded facilities in 1991, as shown here. There is a city in Northeast Ohio called Warren with close to 40,000 residents. And we're looking at a synagogue building called Beth Israel Temple Center. The only information that we have on it is that it is conservative affiliated. We have no idea if it is still functioning as a synagogue. And there's another northeastern Ohio city called Wooster with a population of 27,000 and home to Knesset Israel Temple. They do not employ a rabbi, but rather utilize a part-time cantor who leads the services two Friday evenings a month for Shabbat. The congregation was established in the 1880s and was originally of the Orthodox persuasion. The congregation switched to Reconstructionist affiliation in the 1990s. A plaque on the outside of this building indicates that it was erected in 1950. Worthington is a northern suburb of Columbus and has a population of more than 14,000. And it's home to Congregation Beth Tikva, a reformed temple. Rick Kellner has been the spiritual leader or senior rabbi of this congregation since July of 2011. Gary Huber is Rabbi Emeritus. Shabbat services are held on Friday evenings in various formats depending on the week of the month. There is a more traditional Saturday morning service when there is a bar or bat mitzvah celebration. Otherwise, one Saturday morning a month, there is a library, minion, and Torah study. The congregation was formed in the early 1960s. The campus shown here was dedicated in 1980 with significant additions completed in 2013. There is one more episode of Synagogues of Ohio to present. And then we head on to the final of the 50 states, the big one, New York. See you soon.